Dr. Michael. Finish this door. Hey, you made it over. Hey, Shep. Zeb! Hey! Oh, laggy. Hey, sir. Oh, one of those. Nice. Cut him up. Mm, we do have wolves. Mmm. We're going to have to do some cooking. How you doing, Seb? How's it going? Morning, dude. <laughs> Pelt. Shit. Small beef. Take that beef, forget the rest. Oh my god, look at the size of it. Come on inside. We're going to have some lunch. Hello. If, before we get to work, we're going to have some lunch. Yeah, I stepped out for a bit. Sorry. <laughs> I heard some shots when I came in. I thought I was hearing things. But then, uh, you want to grab that other piece of meat and we'll uh, maybe... Go around. I got a fire put. I got an oven in the uh, in the main square of the school here. All right, that's good. Yeah, there was three wolves. I killed them. Oh, you got all three, eh? Where'd the other ones go? Uh, there was only three actually. Oh, so you yeah. cut them up already? Yeah, there's, I've got four more pieces in the truck. Oh, jeez. So we we got a new car, eh? The other car uh, yeah. fell fell apart on us. What do you mean it fell apart? Well, first of all, I got a flat tire, and then I couldn't fix it. Then I got another well, flat got tire. tire the yeah, so we ended up with two flat tires. Car. Now, I found the blue car right near where the other car broke down, so... Yeah. That was cool. Blue car up. <laughs> I'd rather to have this car anyway. Uh, we need a couple. Car, you still have a spare tire in here in the Patriot. Uh, but that doesn't fit on this car. 
No, it's it doesn't a, fit on this car, no. No, no. We're still looking for our tire. Had that li- We're still looking for a tire for this one. And all your uh, veggies in this car are all rotten, too. Yeah, well, that was part of an experiment we did. We wanted to test and see how long they lasted. Um, I'll get a couple sticks, although I have, I have one stick on my back, but, um, let's see. Oh yeah, and I brought a bunch of tools with me as well for your door and everything. Yeah, yeah. All we really need is a hammer, I think. Let me go get a stick, uh, and, uh, so we can cook. We're just checking to see how long the, the um, those um, tomatoes would last. All right. Do you have a cooking pot or a frying pan or something? I do have a cooking pot in the car here. Yeah, put it on top of the oven because then we can cook more things at the same time. Yeah, and I think there's, yeah, it's three quarters full of water as well, so... Could actually boil it. I think boiled meat actually lasts longer too. Yeah, yeah, even longer than dried. That's right. All right. A uh, piece of paper. I think I got a piece of paper on me. Oh no, I have to get a piece of bark. Get a piece of bark. <gasps> Did the wolves howl when they came in? Can't hear me from here. Uh, the wolves didn't howl. They no, they didn't, eh? No, they just uh, ran up. First the two gray ones, and then the white one. The white one is usually the leader. Oh, okay. Okay, so you, if you kill the, the alpha, the other ones usually take off. You drop the meat in uh, the bowl, or...? Hang on, you've got stuff in the cooking pot. There's something in there? Yeah, uh, cassette, some tarp, and some sunglasses. <laughs> oh shit, we better take it out. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, my sunglasses. Oh shit, yeah. I need those. It's awful bright out today. Oh, my... Okay, that switched up my, uh... My head torch. Oh, my battery died out the yeah. other... It's so hard to get stuff here. I mean... You can't even find a battery. Oh, I've found plenty of batteries. Usually uh, in industrial areas, you know, the infected with, like, working clothes on. Oh, right, right. They have, yeah, if you kill those, sometimes they'll have batteries or something in them. I'm always on the lookout for batteries just because of my night vision goggles. Yeah, yeah, you need backups. All right. So how many pieces of meat do you actually... Holy shit, look at all the meat! Yeah, that's just from one wolf, and I've still got four half wolves in the, in the truck. Well, I'm going to cook a couple others, maybe dry some as well. Yeah, that would probably be the best course of action to dry some meat as well. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to smoke this and do the cooking, and you can watch the pot. Yeah, pot's cool. already done. Uh... One thing though, yeah, there's water in here, but it didn't boil it. It's still fried it. Oh wow. Okay, I better make a note of that. 
Well, we have it. I'm, I'm recording it, so I'll go back on it, and then I'll do a, a report. Should I put the meat in the car for now? Yeah, you can. pretty fast when she's uh, I'll leave one spot for the uh, what are these things oh hams smoked I ham is good those, huh? yeah. there's Try four two three my hatch, but work. yeah yeah oh you got the cookie you're cooking the fat in the jar cool yeah the uh, uh, baked, baked uh, animal fat usually gives you the most food. Yeah. Have you got a fridge in your uh, base yet? Uh, yeah, but I can't place it down. Uh, Klein already knows about it, though. So. Oh. What seems to happen? You, you can't... Yeah, I can't choose the placement. Like, it, it lets you choose placement, but you can't actually place it. Oh, okay, okay. Well, we have one upstairs in the lab, and it seems to be fine, but I don't know yeah, if it's... Yeah, it's not, it's not all items. It's just from one specific mod, and it's one of these, like, really big, uh, like, shopping mall fridges or something. Oh, okay. And that one's just... And where that one was from, some of the uh, things from that mod seem to not be placeable. Oh. Now these other hams, I can't, it says they're, they're raw, but I can't place them. Yeah, I can't butcher them either. I, I was able to butcher everything else, but I can't butcher for the small hams. Trying to put it from my hand. Well, I cooked some of them. I thought I cooked some of them. Where'd they go? Oh, you used up the ribs, you mean? They're on the floor. I did all the ribs, yeah. Two, four, six, eight. But the hams are raw, and you can't do anything with them. Maybe you have to cook them in the pot. Oh, they're too big. Yeah, they're way too big for the pot. Oh, well, we should take that pot. Is there some, is there, there's nothing in the pot, in the cooking jar, right? Uh, no, it should be empty. All right, because if it boils dry, it'll break. Oh, well, there's water in it. Yeah, but if it boils, if the boils the water away, it'll ruin the jar. Oh, yeah, yeah, gotcha. There's a whack of food here. There's still plenty in the truck, too. <laughs> Jeez. WD-40 repairs a lot of stuff. Like, you can repair your guns with it, eh? Yeah. Uh, Klein also mentioned there was these weapon parts that you find in military areas. They yeah. apparently fix guns, too. I tried it, but it didn't work. Ooh. So, so, because there is a smithing mod in this server too, so I'm kind of thinking that because there's like bolt nuts that you can find too, too, so I imagine those are like materials that you can smith together to make like uh, tools or something, I imagine. Yeah, um, tomato mm -hmm. on the fucking stick too. <laughs> yeah, so why is there something cooking and making a noise and there's nothing on, this, on, this, on the oven? It might be the pot still. But I think it's like some kind of glitch or something. Yeah, but the pot's empty. So, I mean, I guess they have to turn the cooking sound off after food removed or something like that. And the second part of that is the uh, ham doesn't cook well. Well, it doesn't cook at all. No. Maybe if we had a stick. I wonder if it would cook on a stick. I have a stick on your backpack. 
Yeah, okay, here, let me take it off. Um, there's something on there's it. There's a rotten tomato on it, too. <laughs> here, I'll put it down for you. I'm just sending a message to Klein. Put it on the stick. Send him a message. All right, so we'll we'll leave that for now. I guess I can put the pot in the car. I guess. Yeah. That'll be fine. And then well, the. It's actually not the pot that's making the cooking sounds. Though actually the fire. All right. So is it the fireplace now, or is it? Yeah, it's the fireplace that's still cooking something. Well, that There's happened the other day when we cooked uh, on the outside. We cooked out here, we set a fire up out here, just a regular fire and cooked with a stick. And every, after everything was cooked, it was still, the fire was still crackling like food was cooking. Huh. Now maybe it's meant to be thing. that that sound is the sound of the fire just crackling. Hang on, hold still for me real quick. There's an option, I can check your polls or I can search. Yeah, you can search the body if you look at the body, right. Yeah, so when you turn, yeah, you turn the button. Sorry, what? I think for searching, like when I search you, I think it's just like for a roleplay. It doesn't actually do anything. Oh, okay. It doesn't give you a result? No. Let me try it on you. Hold on. Search one leg, the other leg, the other three legs, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that didn't find anything. Long, long. There's nothing there. <laughs> nothing but a pair of nuts. <laughs> and this fireplace is still going, and the hams are on the ground. I don't know what we're going to do with them. Did you know that? Um, I don't know if it's on this server, but if you have a piece of meat or a steak. And the dog's coming for you. I don't know if you can do it from here. Oh, I can't throw it. Yeah, I tried it because when that wolf all the way down in the south, that Krasno air airfield was coming after me, I yeah. threw a piece of meat away and it actually went after the meat. It's exactly. And that's a great feature because then it gives you time to get to safe ground, right? Oh, yeah, but it's... It still ate the meat, but then came right back after me as well. Exactly. So as long as you know that, then it, it will help you. And then if you had another piece of meat, you could throw throw the meat again. This ham's going to go bad, but that's okay. We'll put it in here and see what happens. Yeah. And these pumpkins... Where's that door that you want to fix? I'll show you upstairs. But here, listen, let me tell you something else. These pumpkins, when they go rotten... Um, you can still get seeds from it. Watch. And that's normal. Oh, so you just cut that, cut out the seeds with the knife. Yeah. And that's, and that's real, that's realistic, right? That's in, in real life, you can do that. So on the ground, you got two rotten pieces of pumpkin slices and 12 seeds. So if you want to take those seeds for your base, uh, you can, you, you will be set for life. Yeah, I might take some seeds, actually. But the, um, and also, I heard on some servers, and it may be here, too much loot on the ground affects the server performance. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's always like that, usually. So I'm just going to burn, I'm going to burn these pieces. Yeah, especially, like, you know, the, um, like, 
crafting tables and all that kind of stuff with the boxes that you find with like all the cabinets and shit. Yeah. Uh, there's, it's always it's always best to leave them as they are and not put them up because if you put them up, it also degrades the server performance. Unless you're going to use them, you mean just leave them in the box? Yeah. Well, I said I found a big wooden crate, and uh, I set it up up in the lab. Or in the other room. I'll show you where the room is. And um, it disappeared the next day. Yeah, I had that happen to me as well with one of my wardrobes. But then again, in the lab, I will, I will show you um, something up there. Let's go upstairs. Uh, Hang on, I'll just grab my tools. I have all the planks and nails and everything, so. Well, if you need more, I've got plenty with me as well. So in the last, um, okay, in the last, um, what, a week, 10 days that I've been around here, I've been using this just to see to do different experiments and Dr. Sh uh, Dr. Michael he um, oh oh you're giving me some gas or cleaning my car seats <laughs> no, just fixing the door because uh, it might not look like it right now but this full a big ass tank here yeah. is attached to the blowtorch oh it's attached to the blowtorch holy <laughs> oh wow that's that's something else how did you figure that one out or you read about it well I well no I, I i've seen this uh canister like this uh propane canister i've seen it in different servers yeah and since the blowtorch came out uh, I figured, because you can always have these, like, little blowtorch containers. Yeah. Or these little gas containers. And I figured this one just has to be a giant one and should be compatible with anything that uses the propane. So I figured just slap this bitch on and be set for life. I was wondering what you were doing with it. I thought, oh, he's got the tools in a pretty cool container. <laughs> but that that answers yeah, it. This? Yeah. You see this oh. door? This one's also damaged. And with the blowtorch and a propane tank, yeah. you can actually repair it. Oh, wow. Oh, would you mind doing the other two doors, sir? <laughs> yeah, sure. The other, the other doors are actually fine. Yeah, they've got the green. Uh, the now, what about the trunk? The trunk's fine. We fixed the wheels on it. The hood's fine. Okay, good. Cool, all right. So The, the other van here, though, that one's quite damaged in certain spots. Oh, the bumper, I know, is uh, ruined. Can you fix the bumper, or...? Or is it too late uh, for that? It, if it's ruined, it's ruined. You can't do anything anymore. But if it's badly damaged or damaged, you can still fix it. Well, it doesn't look like it's ruined. It's it's red, but it doesn't say ruined. Oh, if it's red, usually the color red is always ruined. Oh, shit. This well, fender is good. If it's just the bumper... If it's just the bumpers or the fenders or something, it doesn't usually affect the car too much. Yeah. However, if the tank if the tank is damaged or badly damaged, you'll lose fuel. Oh. Oh yeah, this. Usually, if that happens, just leave the car because putting gas in it will be extremely shit. Yeah. Well, how do you tell if the tank's okay or not? Um, not sure. I think you only tell usually when you're driving and you're losing like. Too much yeah. fuel. There's one door over here that needs it. Underneath. The front door is fine. The back door is kind of messed here. Yeah. Not sure. Maybe you can crawl underneath the car and see the tank somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we need a Patriot wheel. We've been looking. We haven't seen one yet. But it's all ready to go. We I've got the... I've been seeing so many... I've been seeing so many fucking tires all around the place, but never the ones that I see the cars for. That you need, yeah. All right, let's go upstairs. All right. Um, interesting. 
Something you learn every day. I left that door open down there. Maybe I should close it in case a wolf wanders in or a Zed. But I've never had a Zed wander in here. All right, we're upstairs. Um, I'll show you the lab office, Dr. Sh Dr. Uh, Michael's office. I got to finish this door. Um, I didn't build this door. It's it's too close to the inside. So when you close both doors, um, the vanilla door should be on the outside, right? Yeah. Um, Don't get locked in there. I'll I'll let you out. No worries. <laughs> I just put the lock on the floor for now. Yeah. Yeah, see, there's, there, I think there's, um, I think there's a, maybe there's not enough planks there, but I've got some upstairs. Well, the door is actually finished. I mean, the only thing you still have to attach are some more inside planks and shit. Uh, yeah, well, these, it looks like it's, from this side, it looks like the outside planks have to be done. But I think the door's on reverse, so, uh, whatever it's asking for, it'll give a finished look on the outside. Uh I know what's I know what's wrong with it. There's uh he built the inside planks instead of the outer planks first. Oh you're gonna Yeah, okay, so you have to reinstall them I think. Yeah. Well you just have to because the do this door from this mod it has planks on the outside and inside. Right. And then you can also still attach uh metal uh the metal bits that you find all over the place. Oh, the, yeah, the, the, the hinge for the... the metal plates. Yeah. Jesus, it does take a while until the thing... Yeah, is it takes longer. It's just that way, right? Okay. So that's okay. You're doing the lower out outside now. Yeah. Actually. Oh. All right. Um, that's that's the inside, but the outside isn't done on this. Yeah, you can't you can't see it. You have to build from the inside, right? Yeah. But you see the bottom the bottom planks aren't on here. Yeah, you, you still need to do those, but that's why I brought here. I have this. Oh, the hatchet. Have hatchet at home. Okay. All right. And you need to close the door and work on the work on it from the inside, basically, like on this here, this side here. When you close the door. You should be able to finish it. Okay. Dismantle. Build. Final uh, outer upper planks. Yeah, hang on. Should leave the vanilla door open though. Otherwise, it will just get in the way. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. see. So it's dismantle lower, build outer upper planks. But I thought we had the uppers on the out there before. Uh, which one to put on the upper one? So when you scroll you through, doing? build lower first planks, why is it, le oh, lower yeah. first planks, that's what we need outside there. It's the lower yeah. planks that we need. Yeah. Right, okay. Basically, when you build a door like this, just build anything you can, like, as much as possible. Yeah, but at the same time, you want it to look nice, right? There. You want a nice finished product when you're done. I mean, but yeah, I think what happened was we ran out of, um, we ran out of, a, we didn't have a, the hammer went ruined. The axe, um, we didn't have an axe. All we had was a hammer. Yeah, the hammers go bad really quickly. Yeah. 
But I thought old hammers were supposed to uh, last a lot longer. Yeah, same here. I think I think Klein's still working on the fix for him. Holy shit, you have a fucking claymore? Yeah, yeah. Dr. Michael's working on the ammunitions. Wow, this thing is fucking badass. Yeah, eh? It's cool. So there you can make all kinds of um, uh, metallurgy things, right? Uh, I think so. The microscope in here, too. Found one. Yeah, yeah. We found that yesterday, actually, down, I think, in... Uh, Starry uh, Sober. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there's that press body that you have. I think you can make ammo with that thing. I've seen the press die at the military area a couple of times already. You know what we saw in Kelm? We saw a drill press in a garage over there. Oh, really? Yeah. I've seen a drill and something else at the military area, too. Sometimes uh, at Northwest Airfield. Yeah. I usually see a bunch of shit too, there too, but I never pick it up because I don't really have the time for it. Okay, I'm going to put the lock on here. We're going to go to the other door that we got to build. All right. Uh, so, oh, sorry. Have to attach this. Okay, so the lock, the lock didn't change the combo. I don't think. Well, leave it open. The combination usually always changes when, as soon as you take it off. Oh, okay. It's because you have the because you have the mod on any there's the mod there. I think. The mod. If you close the door. Let's see if it works. Should lock. Try to open it. But since it's not my lock and I didn't put it on, I have to press the dials. Okay. If you put and you put it on. Which means you should be able to just open it. Okay. I find the best way to get the command is. Yeah, the prompt is a little fucky. It's yeah, have yeah. The same issue. Oh, there it is. Hold on. Yeah, I know. It's uh, here. My, it should still work. Yeah. Okay. It's the same combo. Because right. uh, Dr. Michael has a combo and so does Vlad. Uh, yeah. The axis there. Even if you don't, even if you don't set a certain combo, combo, it'll still like save for your character specifically. Oh, ho. okay. Um, so now that you closed it, Michael and Vlad can't open it. I think unless they know the combination. They have the combo. Yeah, yeah, set. yeah. They have the combo. Okay. Um. So down here we built a second room. For stuff because um, um, I like this room. There's no furniture, no junk in it. Oh yeah, sweet. Right, and there's something on the floor here. Canned tuna. Empty canned tuna. So with, look at this. Here, take the hatchet, and look at the tuna on the ground. See what it says. No, you have to leave the tuna on the ground and then pick up the hatchet. Grab the hatchet. Look at the tuna. Make oh, a fishing hook. You can craft a fishing hook. That's cool. Yeah. Probably would work with a knife then, too. Yeah, it does. It works with a knife, too, eh? Yeah. Damn, there's so many things in this game that it, you can do. All right, so door there's a barricade. There's hammer in here. You can get rid of that. Oh, rather use a hammer? No, it was a ruined hammer. Can't oh, yeah, the ruined hammer. Yeah, we were just sitting there. Uh, okay, the here. <gasps> you have a gas mask filter. Yeah, yeah. You want it? Yeah, if you don't mind. I've been looking for those. Yeah, I can have that. Thank you. And we have a lock pick, too, so... Yeah, those are that, good to have because then you can lock the doors and the zombies can't get in. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, yeah, we I think we each have one, so it's it's kind of cool. Now, I have to repair mine. I think the WD-40 might work on it. I haven't tried it yet. All right, so should I do the uh, outer frame first, right? Yeah, you need to do build the frame with sticks. 
first. And I think you need ten for each, or five for each. Well, here, sure. take a look. Take the hammer and see what you can see, because uh, all the sticks are in there. All the plank. I think most of the planks I need, but it's asking me to build a post frame. But oh, that's the that's the frame for it. Yeah, you got to start with the frame. Yeah. Yeah, you need the lower and upper frame first, and then you build all the planks and right, the right. post holders and stuff like that. But uh, most importantly, if you do that, it's always good to put the metal wire in there. Oh, you do already have that. Do you have some pliers? Uh, pliers, uh, yeah, I should have pliers even on me. Hold on. Because the metal wire is already in there. And you always, always, always want to put the metal wire on there first and build the hinges. Right. Because if you don't, you'll lock yourself into your own room and you have yeah. to dismantle the entire thing again. Um, I don't see them here. Hold on, let me look at my belt. No, uh, they don't tell me they're in the other room. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go in the other room and look because. I have something like, um, what's it called? Let's see. I have this tool. It's a cable cutter. Look. Okay. Huh. That's cool. Can you use but, that maybe? Um, I don't know. Let's have a look. No, doesn't give me any. Didn't give me any choices. Might. All right. Might need to go to the other room. We'll check in the sofa. For the pliers. We have stuff in the sofa and stuff in the office, but I gotta. I think there's pliers in the sofa. Have you seen this sofa before? Yeah, I saw one earlier at one point, but I didn't. I didn't take it since I figured. I'm not sure if it's. Well, you got lots of storage. You got a hundred slots. Pretty good. Yeah. Okay, I find crouching down, I figured this out myself, you have a better, you get a better option to open the door. Yeah, it might be because of the viewing point for the prompt. It might be better when you look up at it. Yeah. All right, I have the cable um, for the door. Here's the pliers. Can, can you grab the cable? Uh. You mean the combination? Combo, yeah. The combo, yeah. Alright. Yeah, grab the combo. Also, it's like other servers. If you're running around a lot, you use a lot of energy. Yeah, I don't know. Alright. So, the wire's on there. But it's not. Uh, oh, could, it could be that you have to build the frame first and then the hinges. Yeah, yeah maybe. All Good right. thing you have the pliers with you because you always want to have those with you because if you build the frame, uh, you have to then attach the yeah. uh, wires with the. They build the hinges with the pliers. Because if you don't, you'll lock yourself into a room. Yeah, yeah. I've done that before. <laughs> I've 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 been I was with a fellow one other time. We did that same thing. We got locked in. Now, do you keep your your hatchet? Is after we do this one mount, we'll check the status of the damage on the hatchet. Yeah, Cause... it'll probably go down pretty fast as well. So you just have to keep repairing it. What have you been using to keep the hatchet uh, in good condition? Whetstones. Oh, okay. You make those with a rock against a big rock? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. I, I just found something like one of these like outdoor toilets and stuff. All right. The hatchet is worn right now. It's fine, right? Yeah, or, it, it's still it's still good. So it, it'll still be good until it's badly damaged. That's when it gets risky to get ruined. Build upper frame. Yeah, and there is a there is a mod. It's a repair bench, and you can yeah, restore it to. In the military area, actually. 
Someone put it up there. You can restore it to pristine, uh, and I don't know if it's on here or not, but you can restore your tools to pristine, like your shovels, your axes, your hatchets, your knives. I'd like to find a repair bench. Apparently, well, I don't know if they have the mod here where you can build one. Do you think you need 10 sheets of metal or something like that? No idea. Okay, so after the frame, we should be able to put the... Use the pliers. Okay, this needs to be repaired now. It's damaged. You got a stone with you? Uh, no. That's the one thing I forgot. But I have another uh, one of these tactical axes with me. You can still use one of those too. Okay, but I have a stone somewhere. I'll, I'll give it. I'll let you. Uh, I think I have one, or maybe. I think Vlad has one too. But He's. Pliers don't look. Whetstones. That would be fucking good. Well, I thought you could. Um, we should maybe test that and take the pickaxe and get a stone from a big rock. I think you. I don't know if it gives big stones and little stones, but if it's big stones, uh, you should be able to split them. Yeah, pretty sure you can. Do that. I brought and, a pickaxe with me and the sledgehammer too, but the sledgehammer is fucked almost. Yeah, you'll be able to repair that with WD-40. Can? Yeah. Okay, hold on a second. Um, here, let me see. Let's do this. Come over here. I'm going to put this down. In my bag, I have WD-40. Hold on. Take the WD-40, the pliers. Oh, doesn't work. All right, have you got, um, where, oh, where, there's your sledge. Oh, I can't see it. Okay, there it is. Let's see. Maybe it's only guns. Hold on. Yeah, no, it, it might doesn't. Might be only guns or certain tools. Yeah, it's only guns. Then it doesn't fix the pliers either. So, anyway, uh, okay, the pliers there. And would you say it repairs the pliers? Is it? Uh, I think so. I think pliers and hammers and sledgehammers are the one thing you cannot fix, not even in vanilla. Okay, I'm going to fix the... Um... Any saw, saws and stuff, or hatchets and splitting axes, you can, though. Yeah. Yeah, so if you sharpen twice, it'll go, okay, you can only get back to Warren with it. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So now we can do uh, build outer, upper first planks, uh, build post holders. We're not going to do those. Uh, do the outer planks first, the outer, upper, and the outer, lower ones first. Okay, build outer, lower, first planks, okay. I'm just going to go for a smoke and have my character sleep for a little bit. He's about to pass out. Yeah, I'm getting down. I'm about 30% myself. I'm way beyond that. I think I've only got like 5 or 10%. Oh, that's dangerous. All right, I'll just be here working away. Yeah, I'll be five minutes or something. All right, I'll no worries. Right. Yeah. Well, well, chat, you see what we're doing. It's learning. It's beta. I want to give you guys an idea what happens in beta. There's the lowers. Post. Uh, dismantle lowers. Post holders.
Okay. All right, dismantle odor lower planks, uh, build post holders. Maybe I need more nails. That's what I need. Uh, should have some nails over here. Uh, I have to go down the hall. Oh, maybe they're in my bag. No nails there. I'm going to have to go down to the office. I think there's some in a car, actually. So we got, oh my God, only 35 nails. Shit. Maybe I have to build the post holders. No choice. Okay. So that's okay, that's the post holders. Now All right, I'm back. Um I had to go get some more nails out of the office. Um Um These post holders, I had to build the post holders or dismantle lower outer for planks. But now, you need more planks. You've only got two in there left. Oh shit! That's why. Okay. All right. Hang on. Hang on. I'll get some from my trucks. You got a couple? Because we can cut a tree. I got a saw. No worries. But if you got some, and that's fine. Great, man. Seriously. 
Yeah, no, nah, don't worry. I have like, what, 50 planks with me. Oh, wow. Okay. So I gotta fix this thing. Get this uh, thing out here. Sharpen the hatchet. Okay. Here you go. All right. Shouldn't be any more than 10, I don't think. Yeah, got, got 30 more planks here, and I brought you some nails as well. Okay. Let's see what we got to do. Oh, what did I do with the hatchet? Didn't I pick it up? Where did I put it? One in my bag. No. Oh yeah, and also I just found out with the new upcoming uh, update, the yeah. Daisy 121. Yeah. Uh, there's a full full chainmail and a sword coming with a Viking helmet as well. Oh. Yeah. Not only that, there's also a new feature uh, with the crossbow that's coming. You can still pick up the arrows and shit. Yeah. Uh, just like on the mod, mod here, but you can make your own, but you can also find like uh, full on crossbow arrows. And, and additionally, there's a new fall damage uh, uh, icon. You can actually sprain your ankle twice, and beyond that, it breaks your leg. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, so it's probably a good idea to carry around um, a late, a sprint or a splint. Yeah, either right. that or you make one out of bandages or cloth and two sticks. All right, we got forty-two nails. Um, There's ninety-nine here too. Do we need? I think we need more nails because it's not letting me do anything. You think that's what it is? You're only using like 10. Here, you look at it and see. Maybe it's just me. I'll put the axe down. I think you have to close the door. Oh, exactly. Yeah, you have to, <clears throat> you have, <laughs> yeah, you have to close the door first. All right. Sorry, man. <laughs> oh, shit. No uh, well, you know, these things. All right, build upper, uh, build odor upper. Okay. Outer upper planks first. Outer upper. Yeah. So were you were you uh, at your base or you were somewhere else after we went by there? I was actually out uh, a little bit hungover too. Oh, okay. Went out to one of these big beer tents that usually come around this time of season. Oh, you drink the, you had the big steins of beer? 
Uh, no, that's a Bavarian thing, but we do have them in some occasions, but yeah. really it's just the half liter pints that we usually do. Yeah, I think the ones in Germany are like full liters, eh? Yeah, I've, I've been to the famous Hofbräuhaus House in Munich. <laughs> Alright, so what have we got? Uh, yeah, the Hofbräuhaus. House. I've been there too. Uh, oh, sweet. Yeah, I've, I've got two big steins from there, actually. Oh, uh, yeah, build the most most uh, thing that people tend to bring with them. Well, they sell them there. You can buy them. So big gray, big big gray steins with uh, a deep purple engraved HB on it. Ooh, in purple. I've never seen them in purple. They're blue these days. Well, I mean, purple being the lettering, but the stein itself are like a, a grayish color um, clay or whatever, pottery. Oh, you've, you've got the ceramic ones. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So when I fill that with beer, I, I put almost three cans of 355 milliliter cans of beer in it. <laughs> so... Well, you might as well, so you don't have to always go back to the fridge and get another one. Exactly. All right, so what's left here now? we got to do the lower, build inner, upper planks. Okay, up there, right? Eh? Okay. Yeah, you, yeah, you, there's like the first layer is the outside, and then the second layer is the inside. Oh, i got to fix my hatchet. Hold on. You can, yeah, you can put an additional outside layer on it. That would already on the outside yeah yeah you know get this uh, i should just leave this stone on the ground hang on i'm gonna try and see if i can make a sharpening stone outside yeah find a there's some rocks if you go out you know where the blue car is at the end of the driveway there's a couple big trees and there's some big locks right there big rocks by the shed. Okay. All right. I'll check. Yeah, and that will that will. Uh, that's where I got a lot of stones to do the flagpole on the roof. Oh, okay, sweet. Hanging away. Now the pl the plank this plank holder is for a notch plank, and I don't know if you'll be able to fit a notch plank in there. Usually it has to be slid in, but there's a when you open the tab on the door, there's a place to insert the notch plank. That's the extra security from anybody breaking in from the outside. I had one of those before, so I don't know if it's the same on this. I think this is the same door, actually. The axes need to be fixed again. Sharpening stones. 
Okay. Let's see now. That's done. Hello. How'd you make out? By the way, uh, that wet, uh, the, I tried making the whetstone out of two small rocks, but you can only make, um, a knife. Stone knives with it. Yeah. By the way, but, you can attach these pouches to your backpack too, so you have more space. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah, right there, I think. Where it says cases. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Um. Now, do you have to make a a notch plank? Uh, no. You don't need necessarily. The way the door already is. The only thing I would recommend if needed i wouldn't do it personally is putting metal plates on it but yeah i don't need it's it it's extra necessary. extra work yeah. but you see these these uh, notched uh, these these are for a notch plank as extra security yeah for the door so if somebody tries to kick yeah, it in to... you put a notch plank in there but i um yeah, notch plank yeah to, to do that. i need a saw uh, tab, come on the inside. Tab at the door. All right. You see we're under attachments. It says oh, notch yeah. plank. That, yeah. All right. I, I got to go and get a saw from the office. I'll be right back. You use the saw. Right. You can't. You can't do it with a hatchet. I'll get the saw. And you don't always have to remove it either. You walk right through it. It's kind of weird, but. It's it's a great uh, feature. My guy's gonna have to sleep too. By the way, I brought you one of those tactical axes. These ones. Oh yeah. Uh, if you can have this one, because I have an additional one. This thing will kill zombies instantly if you hit them on the head. One, sw one swipe, eh? Okay, yeah. here's the notch plank. Are Look. You, I... Oh, yeah. All right, so then you just put this on the door. And you can walk right through it. Well, you probably have to close the door first. Well, you can close the door, but uh, it isn't going to... All it, it's a it's a barrier. It's a security for anybody trying to get in. Yeah. So you don't ever have to remove it. You just leave and you that's it. You just walk right through it. But if somebody yeah. physically tries to break the door down, this is an added deterrent. I can still open the door though. Yeah, because there's no padlock on it. Oh, you know what's missing? Hold on. No, no. Huh? Wait a minute. You close the inside ah, door. I know. I know what's. I know what's missing. What's missing? There's, there's usually you see that third notch in the middle. Yeah. There's still one of those hooks missing. You still have to build that. And oh. I, I would imagine after that's built, I think then no one from the outside can open it. Okay. Um. I need a hammer or a hatchet to do that. I think so. Oh. Dismantle lower inner. No, you don't want to dismantle. No. Uh. Oh. What was that? Oh, somebody's playing a sound effect on my game. The guy just dropped oh, in. Switch. A guy named That Doc. That Doc is in the game. He or in the game. He's in my chat. Um, I don't switch. get the uh, command. Maybe you need a hammer, but I have the axe. That should be enough. I 
think you need more planks. Uh, yeah, maybe, but why do you need planks if you're doing a notch? And the notch is metal. The metal comes from... Doesn't the metal come from the uh, wire or whatever? Uh, I'm not sure. <sighs> you get a command? Build final outer upper planks. Maybe you have to finish the entire door until you get to that part. Uh, yeah. Or, or we need metal sheets. I don't know. Well, we'll leave it like it is. Yeah. It's fine. Nobody's good. Attach. Yeah, it's you get the command to attach. There it is there. All right. Um, you can take those planks. You can um, keep them. I don't, I, don't, I don't really need them. I'll just put them in the door. There's 20 there. Um, yeah, leave, I can put these in the room other room. door down the hall. Or that, yeah. All right, then I have to set a combo for the door. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you still need that third hook for the notched plank to actually work. Yeah. But I don't know how to build it. Um, well, it's a good thing to understand. I mean, uh, take the hand. Oh, wait. Hold on. F. Oh, it doesn't scroll. For some reason, maybe it needs another wire or something. That might be it. Maybe. Let's see. I uh, don't think it's a wire. I think we need either the metal plates or something else. One metal plate, maybe, eh? don't know. It puzzles me. Notch plank. Huh. No other commands. Put this down. Maybe you need... Uh, no, you sh it should happen with a hatchet that you used. I wonder if you have to take something apart. Maybe we missed something. Maybe. Well, it doesn't really matter anyway. I mean, yeah. we have a combination lock as well anyway. So. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Well, we'll just... Uh, I'll get the combo on it. Uh, I got to write down a combo. Uh, you yeah. do it from the outside, uh, right? Make sure to grab that axe tactical as well, because that thing is going to be awesome against zombies. Okay. All right. I got the tactical one. Um, the nails. Oh. You want these nails back? No. Just okay. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm pretty much dead set on my base. So. I'll just put them in there. The saw is outside. Here's your hatchet back. Keep it. I don't need it. You don't need it? Okay. Keep, no, keep everything. I'm, I'm, right. I'm okay. already set. I don't All need right. any more doors or anything. Right. I'm good. So you've been working hard on yours too, eh? Oh, yeah. It took me fucking ages. All right. Um, oh, the notch plank. For some reason, it's in the wall. <laughs> Let's hope we can get back in here. Put the saw out here. Alright. Um attach. I can close this door first, right? And then attach it. Attach. You can also attach it first and then close the door. It'll still lock. Yeah. Alright, so I have to manage the lock. 
Okay. Um, I think you hold F, is it? Yeah. Yeah, hold F to open it. Oh, uh, no, I, I still got to manage it. Uh, F next sure dial. You don't, but... No, I got to set the combo. Or... All right, so we're going to... Let me write something down. Hold on. Okay, i got to set this now. Okay, so... Oh, damn. Dem, 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 dem. Okay, so it's... I see. It shows you the numbers you're dialing. Hold on a minute. I got to. I got to pause the stream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not that that really matters, does it? Really. Not currently, since it's just us on the test server, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> this is all going to be wiped anyway in another very short time. Yeah, pretty sure when, once we go over to the dedicated server, we all have to start from the beginning anyway again. Unless uh, Klein manages to copy all the data from this server onto the dedicated one. Well, I don't know. I I can't. I thought I heard him say there isn't going to be a wipe when he goes live, but I mean, I think it probably has to be, right? Well, not necessarily, since I think a DayZ update one twenty one, uh, he's still waiting for that to come out, and then we'll go to the dedicated server. But if he doesn't have to wipe, that would be fantastic. But if it does, yeah, well, then we just have to start over. This yeah. time, we also have each other to help each other out, too. Yeah. Um, okay, so... That, that that said, if all our characters are, like, friendly with each other. And since when we go live, we also have to roleplay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, so... Trying to get out of here now. What the hell? I got the uh, number dialed. I got, I got, okay. Scroll up. Stop manage lock. I'm going to test it to open. There we go. We're done. Go. All right. Okay. So that's good. So we can still go in and out. That bar maybe doesn't do anything. Right? Um, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah. Until you have the middle plank holder on the door on the inside in the middle here. Yeah. Well, it's got two of the three notches required. So you would say yeah. that 
you could say that if somebody wanted to thing is the hinge yeah but the hook for it the hook yeah that little that little thing all right so you can walk right through it right yeah i mean you don't you get through it right yeah 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 okay all right so then now the vanilla door and this this door should now that's what i mean this is normally the way the door should be looking right yeah the vanilla door on the outside the barricade door on the really inside matter. if you have the vanilla door on the inside or outside it's doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter. But it depends on the server owner because I was on a server before and they they had a they had a rule and they they weren't strict about it, but most people followed it. So every time you closed your door, you would see the vanilla door. And it would just keep with the, the aesthetics of the building, especially on the outside, you know? But that's just server owner prefer preference. Yeah, I guess every server has their own preference, but honestly, I wouldn't give a shit personally. Yeah, 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 me too. Um, can you grab that notch plank? And we'll put it, uh, or this, no, plank, I mean yeah. a regular plank, and we'll just put it in the holder at the other door. This one's finished right. now. Yeah, can just drop it in there. Yeah, good. This flag appeared all of a sudden. I guess maybe they want me to change it. I got a police. I got a police flag on the ceiling. Yeah, uh, you don't have to change anything. It's just since uh, even if you have a building and a flag and everything, stuff will still spawn in certain spots. Yeah, but I'm just saying the roof, the flag on the roof. Let's go upstairs. I'll show you. I'm going to change the police flag. It's policia. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to just... I want to change it, yeah. yeah. I'm going to change it. I'm going to put this up. I don't like police flags. <laughs> All cops are bastards. Well... It says me driving a fucking police UAZ around. <laughs> I gotta remove that thing. Oh, you got it? Okay. Yeah, got it. Alright. Attach this one. Up we go. That's better. That's better. You should have seen me trying to gather all these stones. Now, what is... Yeah. What does that mean, T-E-C? I think it's just some company brand name. I, 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 uh, judging from the star as well, I would guess it's from the windmills, windmill turbines. Oh, it's yeah. The company's name or something. Yeah. I have a flag on another server, and it's the Shinaris Mining Corporation or company. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's done. Well, thank you very much for your help, man. Appreciate no it. No worries. Anytime. Um, why is that? Why is it? You know, the weather really affects the rendering of this. Of the, you see that big mountain over there? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? It's like a white, massive lump. Oh, I see a couple trees. I mean, I have a quite powerful PC, so I, I can see the trees on it. But yeah, it is white. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, you can see the... It's kind of realistic since, since it's raining, it's a bit misty. Pretty sure that's supposed to be that way. Okay. I just thought maybe it wasn't rendering properly. Ah, should be fine. Other than that, um, what what is your um, what is your draw distance set at? Uh, I don't know. Mine's at 30, I think mine's at 3,400. So on a good server that's even set higher, like 4,000, it's amazing the, 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 the how, how sharpness. 
how the sharpness is. So we could we could use a, a lock pick to lock this door. So if anybody comes from the outside, this is locked. Well, I'm pretty sure they would could still be able to crawl up since there's I think there's ladders on the outside or somewhere. Uh, yeah, but then how they get in here if that if that why well, if that's locked out there, and then oh shit, you'd have to. I was just thinking the other day. I mean, I don't know if you can lock this or not. Let's see. Oh, with a lockpick, yeah, but anyone else with a lockpick, they can get open in. It again, or, or they can just ha like pummel it with a hammer or a hatchet or oh, shit. Wait, even, wait. even if you locked it, I could still, I could still, for example, shoot it open. Right, right. Yeah, or you could build a double door here. You could, but yeah, it's this is a big building. I wouldn't bother locking most doors except for your personal ones yeah okay i'm going to end the stream now if you want to hang in just for a minute let me come back to you and we'll talk about some other stuff yeah sure okay hold on i'm just going to get get off my stream i'll be right there it's a second all right chad thanks for coming by you guys um maybe get on later on do some ban off Thanks for coming again. Appreciate it. Bye now. Bye.